Got to get that scrunch just right. Got to get that hair just right. Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with empties video. I don't know. I'm trying to think of some type of unique way to bring in my empties, my favorites. So anyway, I'm about to show y'all all of my trash. <laughs> no, but seriously though, I love empties videos just as much as I love favorite videos because you guys not only get to see what I've been rocking, but you get to see if I loved it or hated it. Do you remember that from a living color? Like I may be telling my age, but anyway, so this is what we're about to do. We're about to dig into my trash and I'm about to tell you what I loved and then what I hated or not necessarily hate it, but if I will repurchase it again. Now, you guys, I don't do these very frequently. Okay. Probably a whole three or four months may go by. All I do is any and everything I use up, well, anything beauty related that I use up, I just toss it in this bag and I'll wait till it fills all the way to the tip top and then I do a video. Some of this stuff may be a repeat. So if I see some stuff in there, which I think I see a couple of items that I know for sure, for sure that I did a video on or was in my empties before, then I will skip on past it and I will tell you what video you can find it in. Deal? Deal. Let's go. So first we have the Witch Hazel by Studio 35 Beauty and it is a toner and cleanser. It gently cleanses and conditions pores. It's non-drying. It's for all skin types. It is oil-free Witch Hazel if I didn't say that and it compares to Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Now I talked about this in my most recent skincare video where I talked about everything that I use on my skin and I told you guys that I was using this one and I actually use it all the way up as you can see. So I told you guys that I was using this, but I told you that the only reason that I got this product was because Walgreens was out of like my holy grail witch hazel, which let me see if there's one in here. Ta-da! There's one in here. I ran out of this one, right? And when I went to the store to pick it up, it was on sale, so there were none. There were none. I wasn't too happy about it, but I saw this next to it and it was on sale as well. And it said that it's comparable to Dickinson's Witch Hazel. So I was like, I'm gonna try it. Now, I mean, it's okay if like, you're really not used to this one, I would totally use it again. But I will say that I will pay a dollar more and I will get like my fave because the smell is a little bit different. And I don't know, I'm a creature of habit. The next product, which I actually talked about in my skincare video as well, is Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. It is the world's most powerful facial. It is deep pore cleansing, that is true. I love this stuff. I have been using this ever since 2011. I usually use this once a week, but since the weather is changing and we're, we're actually moving into fall just now in California, like just now, just now, okay? Did y'all hear me just now? So I kind of listen to my skin and whenever I feel like I need to deep cleanse, then I pop this baby out. I am contemplating using an egg mask on my nose just to get rid of like blackheads. I may try that if you guys want to see a video on me testing that out. Let me know, but I digress back to the empties. The next product is a hair product. It is Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. And it also says for natural curls, coils, and waves enriched with flaxseed and wheat protein, as you can see. I love it and I definitely have another one over there on my stand. This stuff is the bomb.com for wash and goes when I wanna rock my bun. And when I'm actually under a unit like I have on today, I use this underneath as well. But the next product right here, one has the top off. I don't know what I did with it, you guys. But I'm not gonna go into detail about this either because I have like my updated skincare video that talks all about these. But I will let you know that it is the Aveeno Clear Complexion foaming cleanser with salicylic acid, blemish treatment. It helps prevent breakouts for clear, even looking skin with soy extracts. And I've been using this since 2011 as well. And you won't catch me without it. This is my facial cleanser that I use twice a day. Well, I should be using twice a day. I've been slacking. And I have another video where I told you guys about garlic pills. I think it was in a favorites video, but I was telling you guys that I do not go without garlic pills in my home because garlic pills, or shall I say garlic is a natural antibiotic. So whenever I feel like I'm getting congested or if ever I feel like I have mucus or I'm coming down with something, I will take garlic pills. If ever I'm getting a sty on my eye or I feel like my eyes are, you know, I'm getting an infection or something of that nature, I will pop some garlic pills and they work. You can actually feel it breaking stuff up. Now, if you burp after you take the garlic pills, 
you will smell the garlic peels, okay? But it doesn't seep out of your skin or anything. And sometimes I'll pop like four at a time. It just depends. This next product, I'm almost positive that I talked about this before. This is the Bosch & Lom BioTrue multi-purpose solution for your contacts. And ever since I got hooked onto this or ever since I got turned onto this, I think somebody told me on Snapchat about it. And ever since I started using it, I have never looked back. The next item, I'm sure I talked about this before too, cause I've repurchased this a few times. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter and Apple Cider Vinegar. And it clarifies, it nourishes and grows your hair. It is sulfate free and color safe bomb.com and I had to rinse it out real good because it totally smells like vanilla and I didn't want to attract no ants or nothing like that but this stuff is the bomb and I have one in my cabinet as we speak oh I'm sure I talked about this but I don't want to leave anything out so I want you guys like part of the reason that I show the products that I've showed before in empties is so that you guys know that the love is real like when I tell y'all that I use something I want to give you evidence that like I'm still using it and a lot of times people will come on my snapchat like do you still use that so this is just evidence like I got the receipts just saying <laughs> okay but anyway these are the elf wipes I got uno dos tres cuatro and I'm sure I have more but I was like listen I got enough in my trash I don't use them on my face though y'all because I told y'all I remove my makeup with a natural product which let me just is right here grapeseed oil it looks like wine, but it's grapeseed oil. It is Napa Valley Naturals high heat cooking grapeseed oil. So you can cook with this, you can use this for your hair, and you can use this to remove makeup. And I have a video all about how I do that. Oh, and I also use this as an exfoliant. I mix it with brown sugar, and that's how I exfoliate my skin three times a week. And I talk about that in my skincare video as well. Oh my goodness, you guys. Agave Revitalizing Shine Spray. This stuff is the bomb.com. Now I actually, I'm, I think I have a video where I use like the smoothing trio. It's like two years ago, you guys. So I think a couple of months after that, I got the shine spray and I've been using it ever since. So I think I've been using this for a couple of years as well. And I love using this on my buns whenever I rock my buns and my wash and go. And when I refresh my bun and I put it back in my banana clip, I just spray this stuff on. And I think I have a video where I tell you guys like how I, my nighttime regimen with my bun and I spray that on there and it just gives it this bomb shine. And this, this is a holy grail. So here are some more receipts. Okay. So this is just showing you that the love is real. This is Luster Premium White Luster Now Instant Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste. They have a bigger one, but it's like a different flavor. So I love this one because the toothpaste is blue and as you're brushing, it kind of turns white a little bit. And I don't know, I just love that it foams so much and I love the color and I just love it. So I always get the small ones. They come three in a container and I think it's like $8.99 or $9.99. But I talked about this before, but some of y'all still ask me if I still use it. And yes, the love is real. I actually just talked about this in a favorites video, so I'm not gonna go too much into this either. But this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. I told you guys the whole story about how I wasn't deep conditioning and yada, yada, yada. And then I went back to this and I've been loving it. So I use one up. Actually, I think I use more than one. I probably got rid of it, but I'm on the next one that's almost gone even now. But this is hands down one of my holy grails that I use in my nail care regimen, okay? It is Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover, and this is maximum strength. So this is just so you don't have to peel them off or clip them off, because sometimes when you do that, they tend to grow back thicker. Sometimes I do have to clip them a little bit, but for the most part, I use this every time I do my nails, which is once a week. The next product right Right here is JBCO, good old Jamaican black castor oil. This is from Tropic Isle Living and it is coconut black castor oil. And it says hair and skin therapy, but I actually use this on my hair. Now it's not completely gone because it is in a container that I use where I kind of oil my scalp and whenever I'm under wigs or something like that, or when I'm doing a protective style, I will seal my hair with it because I'm really trying to get back on being consistent and taking care of my hair. They have lavender, they have coconut. So um, 
I don't know if I would get the coconut again because I want to try the lavender, but Tropic Isle is really, really good. Now this next product is emu oil. Now I have a whole video all about emu oil and also like why I use it and all that good stuff. And then on my updated skincare video, I talked about this as well. So I'm not going to go into it too much because this probably makes an appearance on every empties video, but it is pure refined emu oil. And I use this on my skin at night as a moisturizer, like all by itself. And I also mix a dib -a dab of it with my daily moisturizer or my daytime moisturizer, I should say. And so, yes, I've repurchased this a lot. It is on the pricey side because this small two ounce bottle is about $14.99, but it is worth every penny. So I have a favorite high-end mascara and then I have another favorite drugstore mascara and neither one of them are completely gone. But if you don't know, you are supposed to change your mascara every like three to four months. I can guarantee you that I've had these way longer than that. So discard your mascaras at your own discretion. Okay. But Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the bomb.com and then Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara, the bizom dot com so <laughs> this is like a little baby it's like a mini me this is cinema secret makeup brush cleaner and so i call myself buying one of these from sephora.com right because i ran out so i'm like let me just stock up so i just clicked it and just bought it and all that and when i got it i was like i did not read the um, website it's like how many ounces is this little baby i mean oh my gosh it's like two ounces i totally need like 32 i'm just saying so i am gonna stock up but i usually stock up at like fame expo or the makeup show or imats or wherever they have it where i could get that big one without paying like a whole lot on shipping but i love this stuff too Aw, tear. Okay, so this, I have never, I don't think I've ever put a beauty blender or a beauty sponge in an empties video, but this is the Real Technique Beauty Sponge. And I really do love these, but I will say that they break down way quicker than my beauty blenders do, but they are the bomb and they're affordable. So it's not too bad. Like you can totally get two for, I wanna say you can get two for, is it 10.99? I think it's 10.99. But the reason I'm getting rid of it is because listen, do y'all see that? I don't even know if y'all can see that, but like I went in on this baby. So I was like, you gotta go. But these are bomb. They work really great. And I like the way it's flat so you can apply your foundation with ease. But I also like the way it has a point at the end so you can get that concealer going. Matter of fact, I use one today when I apply my makeup. So I'll definitely repurchase. But as you can see, the love is all the way real. These are ColourPop brow pencils in the color Bangin' Brunette. Y'all know they just launched these like a few months ago and I've already gone through a lot and I love them. I actually have it on today and I rock them both at the same time. So I will sculpt with my ColourPop Bangin' Brunette and then I will fill in with my NYX brow pencil in chocolate. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving them. That brings me to a liquid liner and this is Kat Von D's Trooper Liner. And this is about, I think it runs like $18 at Sephora, but I have found a drugstore product that I love. The Milani Stay Put Matte Liner. It has been getting me all the way right. So if you guys haven't tried this, I do recommend you trying it. But as for now, I am gonna hold off because I have found a drugstore one that gets the job done and I love it. Now this product right here is MAC Prep and Prime Peach Luster. And the only thing I gotta say about this, I love it and I will always repurchase it. But there's two things I have to say about this Prep and Prime. Number one, they need to make clear packaging so we can see when we're running out because it is nothing like doing your makeup and you color correcting on this side and then you go to this side and you go to turn up, turn up, turn up. No, I'm just kidding. But you go to turn up and nothing comes out that's annoying and frustrating. It's like you always have to have a backup. So I'm just asking Mac, dear Mac, please make this clear, okay? And the other thing that I noticed, I've heard a lot of people say that they think the formula is a little different and peach luster is a little bit lighter than it used to be. I can attest to that. I think it is a tad lighter than it used to be when I first started using it, okay? But that's about it. I still haven't found anything that compares to my peach luster as far as the color goes, okay? And the final product, y'all. Okay, I'm almost done with another bottle too. But this is Soap and Glory Peach. No, I'm sorry. I almost said peach smoothie. This is not Makeup Geek. But this is Soap and Glory Smoothie. And it is lightly whipped body buttercream. And it says it's intensive five oil, super nourishing formula with vanilla and coconut, pistachio, almond, and sweet vanilla fragrance. <laughs> all I know, 
all I know. I just need a minute. Ugh, this stuff smells so good. It's gone. And I have three more sitting over there on my stand. One of them, which is almost gone, but this stuff is the bomb. I actually got a free one at BeautyCon. And ever since I got it at BeautyCon, I have been addicted. And I will tell y'all too, that um, Soap and Glory is now at Walgreens. And y'all know that drugstore places be having it on sale. I think it's at Target too, and it's at Ulta. And this is like 15 bucks. This smells so juicy. This is like, it, it, it smells like it's edible. It smells like ice cream and I totally dig it. So will I repurchase that? I will probably repurchase that for the rest of my life. I'm just saying that is how good it is. So anyway, that is it for this video, you guys. If you want me to continue doing empties, because I really do love them, I honestly do, then don't forget to thumbs up and comment and let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried some of these products before, if you intend on trying some of them so we can communicate, because I love chatting with y'all in the comment section, on Snapchat, on Twitter, and on Periscope, and on Instagram. So that is it, you guys. Have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Coffin, this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we, we ain't playing, playing games. games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty. Beauty.